Right, morning guys. Paulie here from Paulie's Custom Skins. You can catch me on my Facebook page now if you wish to uh, go and take a look. But apart from that, anyway. Um, so, uh, advanced skinning. So, advanced skinning is now being used in both ATS and ETS2. ATS is just, I think it's just a couple of the trucks at the mini. I think it's the, uh, well, one's a Mac Anthem, I think the other one's the Lone Star, if I remember correctly. So, so we start with just the Mac Anthem for now. So the Mac Anthem, you've got three cabins, the biggest one, the 70 inch, 48 inch, and the day cab. So you will skin those cabins as you please, as normal. You'll skin them, but then you will also need to skin the side skirts. Uh, I've got the three of them joined here together as one, but you can you obviously choose whichever one you want to skin. Uh, so you got your so you got your lung one, mid range or mid mid skirt, and your short skirt. If you're doing a if you're doing a skin for each of the cabins, separate skin, a different skin for each of the cabins, you've then got to paint the appropriate side skirt to match whichever cabin you're using. Same with the roof deflector. So now you have got the day cab roof effect, uh, deflector, the 70 inch roof deflector, and the 48 inch roof deflector. Now, just to make it easy for, for uh, everybody, so we'll start up my Mod Studio 2. when it starts up there it is right so I got file new project ATS add template go to advanced truck template advanced truck Mac Anthem forget all them. don't worry about all them basic so we'll, we'll just name it the cab Cab 70, which is the base colour we're going to use. Well, that's the skin thing we're going to use anyway. Uh, we just Mac test. Uh, just quick price on here. Unlock at one. Leave the rest of it. That's for, uh, when we mess with metallics and whatever. Icon, just use default. Right, skins. Here we go. Add image. There's your three cabins. Yeah. So. If you're going to put, we're going to put a separate skin on the 70 inch. So we'll grab our PNG file that we've saved. What we do, let me just bring it over so you can see. So basically I've got the three cabins here. I've just done a plain colour for each one. On here 64 by 64, so it's just one plain colour. There's everything I just get painted the same colour. So cab 70, just drag it up. PNG file, always save them as a PNG file your uh, skin save it as png file in your file whatever you're doing it and then just drag it straight into there that's for the 70 inch now if you're going to do another if you're going to do a separate skin for the 48 inch add image click the 48 cabin grab the 48 inch skin drop that in there again same for the day cab click the day cab grab your skin in there done so that's your three cabins covered. Now, accessories. Add image. <clears throat> so basically, you've got your templates for your different parts. Your side skirts, your roof uh, deflectors. So, we grab your... Make a, if you're making just a normal colour, whatever you're doing with, the, with everything you're doing with your skin. If it's just a base, just a normal colour or technical skin whatever you're doing so this is what we're going to do so we'll keep the root the day cab the same as the the roof assume same as the day cab so obviously a png file again do it separate if you want to i've used a separate one so it's uh same again 64 by 64 just click them two add image uh roof 48 click them two Add image, 
roof 17 click them to add image right so now we move on to the side skirts you can get rid of that so we've got the short skirt here so we'll put them in there it's only a little dot i've only done them four by four i think if i remember rightly let me check yeah oh, so i've only done them four by four so you've got the short side side skirt so it's all them in that uh in that uh blah, 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 yeah whatever you want to call it that pack there basically so i click that one select all in the group so that just selects all them in that group so all them i get painted that that uh what is it purple ain't it doing it yeah purple again add the image again go to the mid skirt grab the little mid skirt one there get rid of the short skirt one again click the mid skirt select all in group there we are i'm all selected add image again now this is for the obviously the long skirts hide them out of the way get your long skirt skin uh color put that in there click the top select all in group right so all them are painted don't worry about these two here we're not doing metallic skin today uh right so go to mod manifest just put that click paint uh, uh mac painting i can't believe uh, don't worry about text export mod uh into that folder mac painting parts there's our foil there we are put that in your mod folder shot the game again into American truck simulator no update today so we're all right click your, uh, your skin some changes into your game uh, truck dealer on Mac with the little one to start with yep there's your skin there's a look there's the uh whatever color you want to call it that we painted it parts side skirts purple so we painted them purple the short ones the roof whenever i can find it matching the truck matching the base color in same thing again but they're already on the main they're on the main template anyway same as the uh wood guard uh bumper all the the bumper the mirrors uh, let's go in the mirrors mirrors they're all on the main template so you can paint all them in there chrome no can't paint the front front can we no no So, 48 inch, change the color on that. That's the purple with the green short, uh, medium skirts. Same again with the roof. Roof's the same color. Obviously the back's all the same color. Right, so we go, biggest cab. There we are, red and blue check the roof roof's the same color and that is basically it so if you was going to put anything on the roof you would have to skin the template for the roof whatever you was putting on there and then you would just put that in instead of putting the solid color on top of there um and that is it basically for the mac anthem and then my dogs decide to bark. So there you can have three different skins 
all in the same package all together. Just like that. Easy as that. That's as easy as it is. So we come out to there. Um, let's have a look at ETS. Well, same. It's basically the same for ETS2, really. Let me grab. So this is a scan your foil. So there's a scan your foil. So this is for the new gen scanners. So basically, you have to skin all these. All these foils here have to be skinned separate to the main cabins. These are main cabins. You can get them separate to that as well. But basically, all the side skirts have to be have to be skinned. Sun shield, small mirror, mud guards on the back, rear bumpers, rear chassis plates, mud flaps at the front, mirrors, the logo, and the exhaust uh, paint that's on the back. So all that has to be skinned separate to the actual main to the actual main cab itself. But again. If you were just going to keep the same colour throughout all of the truck, you could basically just put one, one get one PNG foil with your colour that you want to use and just basically add it to all of these. Let me put MS2 up, let me grab that. So we've got a new project. Add template, advanced truck skin. So we've got the Scania. Obviously, you, what you blah blah blah. What you put in there? Icon again. Skins. Pick your cabin. Whatever you're going to do. We'll just use the oil roof. Get your accessories. And basically, there's all your different accessories for the Scania. Uh, for the Scania new gen Scania. Sorry. So if you're just going to, if you was just going to basically paint all them one color, like we did with the Mac, just grab a. 4x4 four four or 64x4, four four, drag it in there, put it there, click the top one, select all. And every one of them parts will be painted exactly the same colour. If you're going to be doing fancy skins uh, and you're doing different different stuff, uh, you know, if you want the logo painted a different colour, then you'd obviously wouldn't paint it that colour. Um, you know, if you wanted the mirrors paint sun shield, if you wanted something different on the sun shield, you just click them off, so they wouldn't get painted. The fender, the, you know, the rear fenders and everything, all them, the bumpers, just everything, all your side skirts, whatever you want, whatever you're doing. Uh, if you're doing a separate skin, so you do, so say you put, uh, you want to do the, what is it? Say you want to do the sun shields in red, so you again add image. Get to your, get to your sun shields. Wherever they've gone. There. So there you got your sun shields. Put your thing in there, your red. One, two, three, four, five. That and then basically all your sun shields will be painted that red colour. Then again, add image. Then whatever you want to paint, whatever else you're painting, basically. So all them parts. So all them parts on here have all got to be painted separate. If you're doing them a different colour or you're doing something fancy with them or obviously as I said, if you're doing them one colour, then you can use one PNG foil and then just click them all on the studio. So it just covers a lot like this. So it just covers them all in one colour. And it's as simple as that. That's all that's it is pretty simple now to be honest on the especially with this new MS uh, the new MS two. And that is it basically. If there's any trouble, any problems, feel free to ask. Always on the Discord. Um, so, yeah. If not me, then there's always somebody else about you who will be able to give you advice or whatever and help you out. Okay. So, I hope that helps. And take care.